Okay, I just want to start by saying it's an honour to manage such a wonderful club as Manchester United, um, and I'm willing to take a few questions. Uh, yes. For many Manchester United supporters, you'll be unheard of and likely seen as unsuitable for the job. How would you respond to that? Well, if anybody's followed my career, which I would have hoped they would have done, you would know that last year alone, I won three Premier League titles, uh, two with Villa, one with Forest. I also took Villa to two Champions League finals, of which I won one, as well as a Europa League final. And Nottingham Forest, we had a top three finish in our first year in the Premier League before winning it the second season. And of course, we won, uh, we didn't win, sorry, we came uh, to a semi-final and a final of the Champions League as well. So I think I am more than qualified um, to hold the position. And unlike the previous manager, three Premier League titles does not mean we're going to lose 3-0 to Spurs. Uh, yes. There is a very talented squad of players at your disposal. Is there anyone in particular you're looking forward to working with? Yeah, I mean, obviously there's a world-class midfielder at the club that I cannot wait uh, to start working with. Uh, so I think Scott mcthomahey has got to be the standout player. Uh, yeah. Is there anyone you're thinking of selling? Well, I'm a little bit concerned. Um, Luke Shaw, his brain has less, left the club. So we'll see how he gets on, but yeah, I'm a little bit concerned about Luke Shaw, I've got to say. Uh, go on. Are you looking forward to interaction with the fans? Uh, yeah, obviously I'd like the fans to, to leave comments um, you know, about transfers, tactics. I'd like as much help as I can get, which I know is untraditional for a manager, uh, but I like to embrace the fans and I do encourage them to leave comments. Uh, I think that's all the questions for today, so thank you, and I look forward to getting to work. Hi there, I'm Ozzy Villain. Welcome to episode one of Football Manager 2019. Very, very exciting stuff. And if you haven't picked up on it already, we are going to be managing Manchester United in the beat to save two weeks. Now, I haven't managed Manchester United, I don't think, it may be back in 97, 98 when I was still discovering football and the only team I'd heard of. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to do it actually because I said I haven't managed one of the big teams for quite a while. I mean, they are a big team, aren't they? Let's face it. Uh, already got all the Manchester United fans <laughs> offside with that one. Sorry, guys. Um, so let's see what we can do here. If we just have a look here, said Manchester United, we know all about them. In a surprise move, Manchester United have hired Ozzy Villain as their new manager. Is it really a surprise? I mean, everybody wanted Mourinho out anyway. So they've, everyone's got their wish. Here I am. Much better, right, guys? Uh, so let's have a look here at the squad. A um, couple of things that we've done. I've pulled Lee Grant out of the reserves because Romero's injured for the first few months. Uh, same with Damian. He's not great, if I'm honest. Um, good defensively, that's about it. But I'm sure you guys know all about that. Again, we've just got a few injuries at right back with uh, Valencia and uh, Delo. I guess you'd pronounce that. Look like they're out for a few months. Um, so yeah, we that's why we have him out. I've decided I'm not going to sign anybody in the first, it's the, the summer transfer window. We're going to start the season with what Manchester United have in real life. Uh, and then come January, we might see if we can make a signing or two here or there. We have a 80 million. If we go to finances here... Just for a second, you can see we have 82 million transfer uh, to spend and about, what's that, half a million a week to spend in on wages. I mean, it's one, maybe two quality players that we would need to improve. Um, so I don't want to run out and buy somebody. I want to see what we have exactly, where we're weak and, uh, and look to build from that. Um, but like I say, they're the two guys that we've called up into the senior squad for me on the 23s. Uh, let's have a look here. Anything else Scott McTominay he's wanted? on? Like, we are not learning out Scott McTominay. He, he is our best player, I've been led to believe. Um, so we'll do that right away. Unavailable for loan. Should he be captain? That's the big question, isn't it? Um, but we might just leave it. I forget who captain is now. I think it's Valencia, isn't it? We might just leave Valencia as captain for now. Um, yeah, so that's what we, that's where we're at, but just as I said, just started the game, so really excited to get into this. I'm going to play through pre-season, work out the tactics, what is going to work best for us. Um, the first problem I see looking through the squad is that we have wingers, uh, with Alexi Sanchez is okay, he can kind of cross the ball, but Martial, wide player, can't cross the ball. Rashford, wide player, can't cross the ball. Uh, Lingard, we could maybe play out there, but again, his crossing is still not that great. Um, we lack vision as well, I've noticed. Uh, we've got Mata that's got some good vision and somebody else. A little bit disappointed in Fred, to be honest. I thought there might be more to him than that, but again, not much vision there. Even poor Pogba, or Herrera. Was that the other one? Yeah, a little bit disappointing in the... Uh, in the vision, Pogba again, 16, not the best. It's looking as though it really is, and I'm sure again, Manchester United players, uh, fans know about this. It's looking as though it's matter to create, doesn't it? Um, but like I say, the way I tend to like to play, if you've watched uh, my channel before, 4-3-3 and of course 5-3-2. Um, given that our wingers don't, uh, they don't cross the ball. If we are going to play 4-3-3, we're going to have to play with wingbacks, aren't we? With Get Young and Valencia forward and 
yeah, see if we can get them to cross in. Um, alternatively, we could go the 5 3 2. Anyway, guys, I've got to play around with the tactics of change this time. We can go Gagan Press, which I love. I like the idea of playing that. Work rate on the team doesn't look too bad either, so that's something that we could look to do. Um, but I'm going to play through preseason. We're going to China, it looks like, if we look at this, oh, the schedule here really quickly. We're off to China, so we're going to play through preseason. I'll play around with the formation, see what team we have best, and then we'll come back. And we might even look to start the season at home to Chelsea. Away to Chelsea. Okay, guys, welcome back. As you can see, we've done pre-season. It's gone okay. Uh, though I do understand why Mourinho was complaining this summer, because I tell you what, we had no first-team players. We had Alexi Sanchez, Martial, and Luke Shaw, and that was about it. But we'll just quickly go through things. You can see we've started off against uh, Gizou, Gazal. Uh, you can see Andreas Pereira uh, got a goal along with Callum Gribben. Gribben actually has really impressed me in pre-season. So one of the game, this is we dominated this game. We just really struggled to create too much. We you know, had all the ball. Um, we played 5-3-2 in this game. We'll go through the formations in just a second when we get uh, past pre-season here. Then we played uh, Shengang. Pretty sure that's not a real name. Uh, you can see it was uh, Eric ba Bailey? Bailey. I think that's how they say it. Uh, Martial, Sanchez, and Gribben again with goals. Again, we dominated this game. Uh, Sanchez was absolutely incredible. We played 4-3-3 in this. Um, and it really allowed Sanchez to flourish. Uh, they scored two, as you can see, both from set pieces. So that was a bit of a theme through preseason that we've worked on. And I think we've just about cleared that up. Then we played uh, Zhang Zhu. Uh, you can see it was a 1-1 draw. Sanchez with the goal. Um, we dominated uh, this game again, but we, they scored with their only shot on goal against what at the time was their under-23s. Uh, if you look at some of these names here that came on to, off, the, off the bench, um, yeah, I mean, some of our players were 16, so... <laughs> It wasn't, wasn't too bad. Uh, then we played, uh, what was this, Fully. Uh, it was 1-1, as you can see. Regan Paul, one of the young guys, um, got the goal. Brand, uh, Brandon Williams got sent off. Now, has he, been, he got sent off twice. You gave him two starts, he got sent off both times. So we won't be seeing Brandon Williams again for a little while. Uh, Fully, you can see we were down for 10 men from just before half time, um, But we were still the better team. Uh, it's a little bit disappointing, actually, not to have won that, but... So be it. Then we played Chong Quing, uh 4-1, as you can see. Mason Greenwood, one of our youngsters. Um, en Engel Gomez, Pugimal, and Gribben again with the goal. You can see two red cards. You'll notice there's a name there. I said I wasn't going to make any signings. I couldn't help myself. So we do have a, a signing or two to look at in just a second here. Uh, but Quang Zhong... Again, we dominated the game. We just couldn't finish. It's a bit of a theme that's gone through preseason. Then we played Shenhua, Shanghai, Shenhua. You can see again, Sanchez, Smalling, Martial, Gribben again. I tell you, Gribben is he's on the bench for Chelsea. I'll, I'll give you that spoiler. And James Garner with the goals. Um, same old story. We played, this is probably the strongest team that we played, um, to be fair. We started to get some players coming back from the World Cup. You can see Fred and De Gea played. Um, so that, that really showed. Then we played Real Madrid, 1-0. Lexi Sanchez with the goal. We had 26 shots on target, or sorry, on goal to their zero. They did not register a shot. Now, they were missing players as well, but the Spanish players were back. We had De Gea, so the other Spanish players were, were back in the Real Madrid side as well. So it wasn't a particularly weak side. Um, we just, again, it was just missed chances. We could have won that by anything. Then the final warm-up game against Guangzhou. Um, again, we dominated yet again. You can see Lukaku and Martial back uh, in, in the goals, which was good to see. Um, yeah, but that's, that was preseason. Let's just take a minute. Let's warm up for the season and enjoy some of our best goals from preseason.
there we go. We're not too bad, right? We're getting uh, getting the juices flowing there. Now, as I said, I, I couldn't help myself. We were going to make signings. Well, sorry, we weren't going to make signings, but I did. Uh, Eric Bailey, he got injured, and I just kind of panicked. We didn't have any central defenders. So we went out. This guy popped up on my, um, on my uh, what's it called, scouting report. Uh, Deo Opmancano, we'll go with that. You can see, really pacey. Um, good passing. He can dribble out of, the, out of the back as well. What I'm basically looking at is if we play the 5-3-2, I want one defender that can bring the ball out. And this is going to be our man. You can see he can dribble, he can pass. He's got good pace. So if he does happen to get caught out, he can probably get himself back in. Uh, good strength as well. He's only 19, uh, 40 million we paid for him, going up to 80 odd if we win Champions League and he makes 50 appearances and all that kind of stuff. Um, but yes, yeah, so I'm really, really happy with that. And another guy here that popped up on my uh, on my scouting report, which we really don't need, but we have him anyway. 17 year old. Look at this guy for a winger for 17. Excellent dribbling. Um, yeah, good pace. Everything there is not too bad, is it? Now, we already have, of course, Angel Gomez, and we have uh, Chong, and we have a few guys that can play out there already that are wingers, but, you know, more the merrier, right? So uh, Antonio Marin, or Marin, is uh, is brought in as well, just 2.1 million. We're probably not going to use him, to be honest. It's just a short-term save, and he would probably get maybe Carabao Cup. Um, but yeah, we probably weren't using too much. And the other thing on the signings front is Gary Neville is our assistant manager. Uh, tried to get Carragher in. Wouldn't have any of it. So we're at the other side of Monday Night Football. Just kidding. We, we got Gary Neville in as the assistant manager. Um, yeah, so that is that. So let's quickly go and prepare ourselves for Chelsea. You can see... Now we have two formations that we're going with. I said these are the two I like. The 4-3-3 and the 5-3-2. You can see this Libero role. That will be... Um, we're going to have to give you a better name. Up. Up Mancano, that'll be his role uh, when we play that formation. But during preseason, we were playing better in this formation. So we're going to go with this. Um, we're still playing the sort of a ticky tacker high press um, sort of situation. I'm still playing around with it. So it's, you know, getting to learn the new tactics and how they all work. So maybe a little bit hit and miss. Certainly wish we weren't playing Chelsea first game. Um, now, you will notice match fitness. Pogba has just come back. It's good for him to come back for the first game of the season. But there's a few like that. Ashley Young, Fellaini... Um, Romero's been injured. Uh, yeah, Rojo, Antonio Valencia, Dalo, Matic. None of these guys have played yet. Lingard as well. Pereira got injured in preseason. He was a relatively serious one too. Um, he's out for another, still out for about another month. Um, so very, very thin on numbers, as I'm sure of Man yeah, Manchester United fans are probably very well aware of that at the start of the season. Um, so like I was saying, well, let's get on with the Chelsea game. All right, so Chelsea, they're matching up with us pretty much, aren't they? Uh, they have Aspil or Captain. So who they got? Oh, Jorginho is making his debut along with Fred and up for us. Um, all right. So Gary Neville says that we should do that for the fans. It's away from home. This is a tough game to start the season. I don't remember Man United starting with Chelsea. They actually have Chelsea today. Um, so I'm, I don't, I'm not quite sure. Did they play them first game of the season? I can't remember. I just can't remember. Um, so let's go out there and give the fans their money's worth. Let's say that with a bit of passion. Some calm. We have faith in them to go out there and do the job. See if that carries over from FM 18. Uh, not the best team talk I've ever given, if I'm honest. But uh, let's go out there and see what we can do here. All right, here we go. This is exciting, isn't it? First competitive game in charge of Manchester United. Um, yeah, preseason was just a bit of a mess. Um, like I say, Pogba hasn't actually played yet. So I'm not sure that he's going to play the whole game. Uh, you can see we're playing him as a Mazala uh, uh, trying to get forward. Alexi Sanchez done really well there. Can he get a cross in for Lukaku? It's there. It's in for Lukaku. Goal! What a start. 22 seconds into our Manchester United careers. And we're 1-0 up away to Chelsea. Oh, we could not have asked something better, could we? That was absolutely majestic. What this touch from Alexi Sanchez. He absolutely sold us. That Aspilicueta out there. Sold him up the river into space. Dinks the ball in nicely. Lukaku... Poor marking as well, wasn't it? Horrible marking, and we're 1-0 up. Too easy. Too easy. Um, well, there we go. Uh, so, we've given them some praise. Uh, I'm, just, I'm getting used to that. I do like the the body language, how it reacts to the shouts that you give, and I really, really like that. But I'm just getting... It turns out some of my shouts from FM18 weren't doing as well as I thought they were. Um... Demand more seems to go down well, along with uh, get more creative. Let's see, Sanchez knocks the corner in here. It's in for Lukaku again. Oh, Lindelof! 2-0 after three minutes. This is better than we could ever, ever have dreamed. We'll give them some more praise for that. 
Uh, I didn't actually go through the starting lineup, did I? But it's Degea in goal, uh, Lindelof and uh, up across at the back two with uh, Luke Shaw and Damian. We don't really have uh, Ashley Young is not really fit yet, so he's on the bench. Uh, we might even look to bring him on, but uh, Damian. Okay, let's see if we can concentrate here. Hazard over the free kick. He's gone to Willian. Uh, it's Fred in midfield, and you've probably oh no, oh what a miss that is. <laughs> Um, yeah, Fred in midfield, Pogba, Herrera, and then uh, Mata and Sanchez providing the width for Lukaku. Um, I'd, ideally, I'd like to have uh, Sanchez and and Martial out wide, but Martial had, he's been, had a bit of a shocker in preseason. Actually, Real Madrid he was absolutely was the main reason we didn't win that game by many many more goals. Uh, so let's tell them here: Do we demand more? Do we concentrate? To concentrate hasn't tended to work. Yeah, see, overwhelmed. I I used to always, always, in FM18, if you've watched uh, my series back then, always told them to concentrate. And it seemed to do the job, but it doesn't seem to have the same impact. You know, that's a good header from Sanchez. Lukaku has it. It's going the wrong way, but that's okay. Pogba up to Mata. Can we launch something here? Look at Mata. He's got Damian giving so much width out here. He's going out there himself. That's fine. Oh, look at that. Sold him up the river. And that's not the best for cost. But we're still there with Fred, or Fredgy. As the Brazilians would call him. Damien into Mata. Mata back to Damien. Damien cannot cross or dribble. He's very much a defensive fullback. He's got one in there to the back post. It's headed away. Oh, can't quite win that second ball. But Herrera is going to pick it. Herrera has been absolutely magnificent in preseason, by the way. Um, really, really happy with him. There's another ball in for Lukaku. Oh, what's happened there? Almost a howler. But is it Courtois that's in their goal? number? I think number one for them is still... Oh, no, Courtois left, didn't he? Who is their goalkeeper now? We're about to find out. I've completely miffed uh, this uh, summer transfer window. Oh, Kepa, that's right. Um, oh, David Luiz, it's a free kick. After the World Cup, I just completely... I have no idea what's going on in football in real life this season. It's really, really... It's like every every game's a surprise. Oh, that's where he ended up. Fred G! Oh, just a little bar. Um, yeah, Kepa, that's right. He's supposed to be good too, isn't he? Um... Yeah, overwhelmed by that. See, I don't want to tell them, I don't want to demand more. We're 2-0 up away to Chelsea. We're absolutely smashing it. But, uh, yeah, I don't, maybe we'll just let it go. No news is good news as far as the players are concerned. So Damien has the ball now. He's gone in for Herrera, back to Damien, up to Mata. Pogba's been quiet so far, hasn't he? Oh, that's a horrible pass, Mata. What was that? Oh, this is trouble on the counter attack. Williams got past Luke Shaw as well. Cross comes in. It's headed away by Damian. He's done well there. Matter back to oh, composure from Juan Mata. That was wonderful stuff. All right, here's Pogba. Let's see what he can do. Go on, Pogs. Nah, not the best. Not the best. Oh, I thought we were going to intercept that ball there. Pogba should get that one. No, he doesn't. Come on, boys. Eden Hazard. Going down the wings, crosses it in, are we there? Oh, we are there, I think we're there, off the post, was it? Oof. I'm curious to see how Lindelof does for us this season, because he should be good, and he was, World Cup he was magnificent, wasn't he? He was good for Benfica before he went to Manchester United, so I I think there's a good player in there. Uh, let's give it a demand more, maybe. Uh, it focused Damien, but that's about it. I am think just becoming annoying on the sidelines for the players. And here's a set piece. We have struggled a little bit from these. We've worked on them in training. Obviously, not quite enough. Oh, come on, boys. That just takes the shine off things, doesn't it? Oh, a little bit unlucky. He's, the man from the post has cleared it into David Luiz. L slightly unlucky there. I don't... The man marking... Uh, uh, Barata probably should have done better, but a little bit unlucky to concede that, I think. So let's give it a demand more here. Uh, another Chelsea attack. They are coming back into this, aren't they? Come on, boys. Come on. We're just sort of... You could just feel our grip is just starting to slip a little bit here. Oh, De has got that. After it, what was... I mean, a dream start, wasn't it? Two goals in the first five minutes. Uh, but yeah, possessions even... The one thing I was a little bit concerned about um, coming into this 
was playing with the tiki taka look they're fired up by something that Conte's now who's their manager now I can't think of this sorry isn't it um, I told you I have no idea what but my brain is still in last season um, what was I saying oh yeah I was a little bit concerned about playing tiki taka that or possession based football we don't really have creative players but in preseason again I'm a little bit concerned just because of who we were playing in preseason Chinese clubs that we did tear Real Madrid to pieces um yeah, that we wouldn't be able to create enough chances. But you can see here, I mean, this is probably one of the best teams, or well, it is one of the best teams we'll face this season. And we're more than, you know, we are holding our own, keeping the ball, and we are creating. So I don't necessarily think that's going to be a big problem for us. Uh, encourage the players, give them a bit of a morale boost. Um, things are going well, you're capable of better. I'm okay with that. It hasn't really worked out. I'll do some individual team talk here, guys, and then we'll come back for the second half. All right, just the one tactical change. Notice at the top here, we've just gone back to positive from attacking. Um, I don't, well, intercepted. Who was that? Was that Alexis Sanchez? Um, there's no real need for us to keep it. That's a foul from Conte, surely. There's no real need for us to keep attacking. We are, as I said, two, we're two, 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 one up, and we, I mean, we don't need to go and keep attacking them, do we? Uh, let's see here. De Gea goes wide for up. For sure, this is. Nicely built. This is this. I mean, this is the ticky tacker, isn't it? I love. I, I do enjoy just like quick, short passing. That's what we're looking to do. Mata is very, very narrow. But I, I have him narrow with Pogba on that side playing as a Mazala. They should still sort of. Oh, that's another horrible pass. We should get to that. We do. Um, yeah. So we should kind of still have some width out there. So you can see Pogba sort of taking up the space out there. So that should be fine. But I don't really want Mata that narrow, if I'm honest. Um, oh, it's a good ball down the line for Hazard. This is trouble. This is trouble. This is big trouble. There's a man there. Good tackle. That was up, wasn't it? That was, let's clear it, boys. That was a wonderful tackle from the new boy. Um, now, I'm wondering, in terms of changes, I mean, Pogba hasn't played yet this season. He's not having his best game. I'm wondering, do we bring Gribben on, who was, as I said, magnificent in preseason? Maybe we'll try and give him an hour, perhaps. But he's not having his best game, which isn't making it difficult. We have Fellaini as well, who we could bring on. A um, bit of a lump. It's a decent pass if we can get to it. No, we just didn't quite attack that enough. Lukaku, is that Lukaku or is that Sanchez? Number seven, Sanchez, isn't it? That's a oh, risky pass. We've won that back. Well done, Lukaku. What can Freddy do? Out to Pogba. Play him in, Pogs. Play him in. Play him in. Oh, he's just taking a little bit too long. Lukaku. No, we needed to pass. Shaw's done wonderfully well there. We're, we're back on that, aren't we, for the second half? Oh, that's, again, not the best pass. Look like it's two Pogba and Mata probably there getting in each other's way. Uh, Murata, go to him, Damien. Go to him. Cross comes in. It's easy for De Gea to claim. Oh, this is nervy stuff, isn't it? Really wish we were still 2-0 up. Uh, Mata's not having a great game. Um, we have Martial and Rashford on the bench as well. I wonder if we could switch Sanchez out to the right and bring on... Let's let's do that. Let's pause this here. Let's make some subs. We're into the hour. Um, I think I think Pogba's probably run his game. No fault of his own. Um, I'm going to get booed by United fans if I bring <laughs> if I bring Fellaini on for Pogba. Probably. So we'll go with Callum Gribben. We'll bring the the young academy product on. Um, we'll keep him in the Mazala role. We'll bring on Rashford. He has a bit of match fitness. We'll bring Martial... I did play him a few games in preseason, actually, Rashford, didn't I? He was back a little bit sooner. We'll bring on Martial for Mata. We'll switch the, the wings around. We'll play Sanchez as a winger on that side, he prefers. Um, I'm wondering if we should sit... Go these guys back to full... But, uh, no, we don't want to sit back. We don't want to... I don't want to invite them onto us, although we do have extra pace up top. They see that this is the, I'm thinking out loud now, this is the sort of the questions that you have running through your head, isn't it? Um, we'll give the team talk. Faith them to go out there and do the difference. This could be Callum Gribben's uh, debut for Manchester United. I'm not sure if he's played in a Carabao Cup game in, uh, for the club in real life or not. But it could well be. And he deserves it, as I said. He's pre-season. He was absolutely magnificent. Um, and given that we still have a few players that aren't match fit, a little bit of a no-brainer, uh, for me anyway. Um, other sub, we have one more sub, obviously. I'm thinking, see, now Fellaini, Young and Fellaini need match fitness. Now, 
Uh, let's give it a demand more here. See if we can. They're looking motivated. Focus. There we go. There we go. So demand more seems to work. And I d usually don't like doing it. To me, it's a. Oh, certainly in FM18, it was more of a. You know, you guys are playing like rubbish and sort of demanding more. But for whatever reason, it seems to work in this one. So just the little things that we'll learn, won't we, as we go on the on the new version of the game. Darming in for Fred. So 20 minutes to go here. That's running into trouble. Come on, Callum Gribbon. Don't let me look silly now in front of everybody. Herrera, that's a cracking pass. Just what defending from Zappa Costa that was. Can we win that header, please? Uh, we yeah, can sort of. Yeah, we just about won that. That's fine. Lindelof knocks the ball up for Lukaku. That's a cracking pass, isn't it? Lukaku through for Callum Gribbon. Go on, Gribbon. Go on, Gribbon. Oh. Should he have done better there? I think the answer is a definite yes. Um... Now, Fredgy's looking tired. Do we... What do we do here? Um, Herrera's not having his best game. I don't want to take Herrera off, but I'm wondering, do we do that for Fellaini? Um, Fabregas is on for them. Chelsea did win to the, um, the Charity Shield. They beat City 2-0 uh, in that. So they are a good, a good team, but we already knew that coming into it. 2-1 oh, up away from home. What a result this would be. What a result. Um, hmm. I'm hesitating on making changes because we don't really have a defensive change to make. That's a horrid part. Can we win that? No, we can't. Luke Shaw's there. They're trying to play it in. That's a absolute worldy if it goes in, but uh, we'll let them shoot from there all day long, won't we? De Gea should have those covered. All right, can we get one from the corner? Sanchez knocks it in. It's near post. Headed away, but we are going to retain possession here through Herrera. He's knocked it down there for a Sanchez. What can Sanchez do? It's there for Herrera! Oh! So, so close. Um, they're still focused and motivated. Let's... All right, we're going to make a change. I'm thinking... I want to give Fellaini game time. I want him to get his match fitness up. He's going to be good defending set pieces at this stage of the game. Herrera's tied. So it's... Oh, he's the captain, though. It's as much fresh legs in midfield. Or oh, do we take Fredgy off? We can, we'll take Fred off. We'll switch those guys around. We'll switch those guys around. Um, the reason I'm switching them around like this is because this particular role in midfield is has defensive duties. Um, so we want Fellaini, who's better in the air, to, to obviously be having those duties. Um, do we want to hit Cribben as an advanced playmaker? Yeah, we can do that. We can do that. That's not a problem. Come on, Fellaini. All right, five minutes away. I mean, even a point would be a wonderful result, but to go to Chelsea on the opening day of the season, it's the early kickoff too. It's the first game of the Premier League season. To go there and come away with three points. What a result this could be. And I'm really I'm really uh, impressed with how we've dominated possession too. Um, that sort of shows that my tactics are kind of working, which is good. Otherwise I look like a fool in front of everybody. So <laughs> let's give them a demand more here. And if you are just discovering my channel as well, first of all, thank you, welcome. Uh, but please do subscribe. Um, there's only like 12% of people that watch my videos that subscribe, and it helps my channel really grow if you, if you do that for me. So it would be greatly appreciated. And if you have enjoyed this as well, um, do make sure that you hit the like button. Um, we're going to try for the beta save here. We'll try and do an episode a day. I might miss one here or there um, if life sort of gets in my way of Football Manager, which is an outrage if it does. I need to get my priorities in order. Um, but that's the plan to try and, and get an episode a day out. Uh, let's see here. What can Martial do? Can we put the icing on the cake? Martial is down the side. Gets the ball back across. It's a tap out. It's a goal for the lady. 3-1. What a performance from the team. I could not be happier with my debut performance in terms of, uh, of, of just everything. But uh, yeah, haven't managed Manchester United in years. And this is what you want, fans, isn't it? This is what Mourinho wasn't giving you. Look at that, Fellaini. What an inspired substitution that was. Hey, hey. So that's the three points in the bag. If you weren't going to get... Oh, Luke Shaw's injured. That's not ideal. He's picked up a bruised ankle. He should be fine. He should be fine. I think we have Liverpool next up, which is a bit of a tough start, isn't it? But certainly taking three points here 
makes all the difference in terms of that. Had that away. We can even give him a goal at this point because we already won the three points. What a performance. Really, really thrilled with that. That's fantastic. Um, fired up. We'll give them a passion and it's very happy with that. And how could we not be? So there we go. Superior finishing gives us the cutting edge. San oh, Sanchez is injured too. What's he done? Bruise knee, one to three days. Luke Shaw, one to two days. That's fine. It is Liverpool, but not for a week. So that's fine. Fred makes his debut. Lindelof impresses. Lindelof, I, he is, I think he could be big for us. Um, we'll do the press conference after we're offline here. But guys, that's it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. As I said, if you have enjoyed that, do hit like. And if you are new, make sure you subscribe. Because judging off that, 3-1 away to Chelsea... This could be a big season, couldn't it? We'll come back next time. Uh, we'll come back for Spurs. As I said, we're not going to lose 3-0 to Spurs just because I've won three Premier League titles, because we're better than that. Uh, and then we'll also do our first game in the Pre in the Champions League. Um, if you follow me on Twitter, at Aussie Bill, and I'll tweet out that Champions League group once we have it. Um, but uh, but yeah, that's, that's going to be next episode. So until then, guys, thank you so much for watching. I've been Aussie Villain. Take care.